front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Holland, Ohio, and I'm out here at this Boston Market. You know, I came out here to meet up with a Facebook Marketplace seller to buy the stole that's behind me, a Norfolk Southern stole, and I figured, you know what, I'll make a day trip out of it and possibly an overnight trip. And while I was out here, not far from where I met that guy is this Boston Market, and I just had that feeling it was closed. And this one closed approximately a year ago, as of when I'm filming this. And they left all their signage up. Somebody decided to shatter one of the windows in the door. And, uh, well, I want to check it out and see how it looks. I mean, all the signage is all up, even the big sign right next to the car here and ads and everything. So that's why I wondered if they were open or if they actually did close. So anyway, let's go check it out. There's Boston Market, signage and all. I mean, it's not the first time I've done an abandoned Boston market where all the signage was up. But as I've also done a few that had it all taken down, so I was kind of surprised. Yeah, it closed about a year ago, and it seems like people were pretty upset about it because they came here, and there was no notice or anything of it shutting down. They just up and left and hooted and tooted a heck on out of here. <laughs> and... I drove around it because I'm like, I don't know, is it open or not? Then I saw the sign in the door in the busted glass, as you can see. Permanently closed. And they left everything. There's all that butter just sitting there. Straws, everything is still in here as if... It, it's like they just closed one day at the end of their shift and said, All right, that's it. See ya. Like the manager shut it down one night and just said deuces, everybody. <laughs> the future of nuggets. Sure as hell ain't getting them here. Future ain't looking so bright, if you know what I mean. I like the random handle. <laughs> Why? Why does that exist there? Nice looking location, too. It's not, it's not that bad looking in there. They left literally everything up. In case of ice, grab handle. And you accidentally randomly fall out here on a flat surface when there's nothing going on, just scream, oh, dog, and grab onto the handle before you bust your ass. <laughs> Sorry, kids. The unedited version of that, uncensored version of that, is on Patreon. <laughs> uh, you got some signage falling. That's not the only thing screaming, oh, dog. You got more signage on that table there. Glass is kind of dirty there. It's a little bit better. Boston Market. Can't see anything through this double pane window. It's like a, a fog. Yep. Good old Boston Market. Rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. The future of nuggets. Rotisserie nuggets. That actually sounds pretty fire, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and Boston Market hasn't been very good for a long time, but that sounds pretty fire. <laughs> Yeah, when I drove around, I saw the notice, and that kind of gave it away, too. I'm like, they usually only put that on here if they want their materials back and their, their machines and property. Now hiring. Might be far from fries, far from hired, too. And fired, far from fired, because you can't even get hired here. Got a long ways to go. Might be waiting for a while. Holiday hours, yeah, about that time. One year ago, Thanksgiving, limited menu, Christmas Day, limited... Are you serious? They were really open on those two holidays. <laughs> Boston Market trying that hard. It's like they're trying to pull a Kmart, just being open on a day where there's just no reason to be. And 
can't imagine many people came here. And I get it. Not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving. Not everybody celebrates Christmas. But come on, it's Boston Market. I mean, it's great if, in case you had something go wrong trying to make dinner. It's like, oh, well, we got a backup. We can go to Boston Market and get some stuff there. Yeah, the wet sign in there. You know, soaking wet, so that tells me they got some water going on in there. It's a wonderful day out here in March. All right, you need a snow shovel, or how about some moldy chairs? Those look disgusting. Yep, they took out the garbage, so just said, all right, that's good enough. And then they hoot and tooted on out of here, said, see you, George, bye, Frank, bye, Steve, bye, Sarah, bye, Tim. And then the manager's like, all right, later, guys. That shovel's pretty gross. Walking through the drive through backwards, eh? It's pretty nice out here, I'll say that. Pretty nice area. I see the old Circuit City, which is American Freight. You can just tell by the building design. There's a busted TV. A lot of Chick-fil-A garbage. Anybody want a half-dead Powerade or what's left of their hot and ready from Little Caesars? A moldy chair and... Alright. Culver's now. Now that place is fire. Their food is delicious. Love their burgers. Look at that. The pickings are real here. Oh, it scared another bird. <laughs> I vaguely remember that happening recently. I think at a Bahama Breeze I did. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I scare myself sometimes. Baby back ribs. Nashville hot. Now that's good. Oh, they got a pot pie. $8.49 for a pot pie served with cornbread. That's great. That pot pie better be the size of an actual rotisserie chicken. My God. I know sometimes they're like three to five, maybe even six bucks. Even if you go to a place like Giant Eagle or a grocery store, you can get it for like six bucks. But $8.49... That better be the size of a football. Anyway, as we wrap up this video, walking around the other side. Big parking lot as if they ever really needed one that large. And look, guys, you proud of me? I didn't park 10 miles away from the building. I know there's a couple people that get like on my case. Like, why do you park so far away? I'm like, why are you so worried about it? <laughs> All of your holiday needs are right inside. Are they? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> now this one even said closed, but okay. Limited menu, whatever. All right. All right, everybody. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, the uncensored version will be on Patreon. I know it's dumb to put an uncensored version on there for three little bleeps. But you never know. When you're walking across there, you never know when you might just randomly fall and just scream, oh, dog sh and have to grab that handle to save your life and not break your on the sidewalk or, or face like me. Because, you know, if I fall, I just smash my face into the pavement, and that's why I look like this. Even though Kate will give me uh, crap about that. So, anyway... <laughs> Uh, I just try to make you guys laugh. That's all I'm trying to do. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see what else there is out here. I know over by the Mommy Antique Mall that I filmed a couple of years ago, I saw something abandoned sitting up that way. So I'm definitely going to try and get that today, whatever it was. And, well, I see a lot of businesses on this roadway. So I'll be driving around and see what else I find while I'm out here. Figured I'd make it worth my while getting that stool. I know there's a bunch of hats back there. My Groundhog Day hat, KMFDM, my new Norfolk Southern one. Yeah, there's the stool just sitting there. Goes well with that Norfolk Southern uh, bar table I just bought when I was up in Cleveland a few weeks ago. And now I just need one more Norfolk Southern stool and I'll be a happy camper. If I can find another one of those, that would be perfect. If I find two more, even better, even three more, have a full set of four, that would be awesome. But I'll be happy if I can even find just one more. So, anyway, 
And if you know anybody that has them, or if you work for Norfolk Southern or did, and you have one of those stools, hit me up, let me know. I will buy it off of you. Um, I appreciate that. So if you're local to Ohio or Pennsylvania or West Virginia, anyway, because I noticed they come up on Facebook Marketplace. And when they do, it's very far and few between, and they're usually states away. Like, we're talking 6, 7, 10 hours, 12 hours away, and it's a little, that's a little absurd. This was three and a half hours away, and I figured, yeah, it's pushing it, but I can make a day trip out of it up here in Toledo, and that's what I'm doing now. So, anyway, I'm blabbering on. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. See you next time. Bye. Bye.